leaves tastes good like a beer should. You said it. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. <laughs> Try a frosty cold glass of Bavarian right away. What's that you say? No boulder dash or baloney here. Yeah. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentlemen. No matter how you take your hooch, we've got something ice cold and on tap. Now, serving it to you straight and unfiltered, here are Greg, Scott, and Dan. Welcome in, everybody. Thanks for listening. Thanks for joining. Thanks for drinking along. We are the Unfiltered Gentlemen. I'm Greg. Over there, that's Scott. Oh, yeah. And that's Dan. Los cucarachas entran. Oh, boy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Listen, listen to the happy voice from Greg over there. <laughs> yes. This is the last time he will be doing this as a single man. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. It's, uh, it's all downhill from here. Yeah. Uh, Serving time starting this weekend. Yeah. Thank you all for listening and for joining, like I said. A huge, and I can't make this up because no one's ever heard of this town before except for the people in Germany. Huge shout out to... Magdeburg, Germany. Whoa, whoa. Magdeburg. I don't know how to pronounce it. What's going that. on? Yeah, they were Hi-o. top. Li- oh, you know, top listening city of wow. last week. So uh, thanks, Magdeburg. Somebody call in and correct yeah, us or yeah, you send us that. how to say it. Yeah, exactly it looks like you right. pronounce it right for yeah, a change. Perfect. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Finally, perfect. <laughs> Finally, Magdeburg, Germany. So shout out to them. Uh, thanks for listening over there. In, yeah, uh, Deutschland. we translate to in German over there. Yeah, so. we say beer. Yeah, and, and they say beer. Yeah, with an beer. I. Yeah. yeah. So thank you guys for listening. Uh, burp word of the week is Air Jordan. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get to that in the uh, news a little later on. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to hashtag show us your beers, rate and subscribe. If you're uh, on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spreaker, Spotify, whatever it is, give us a little rate and subscribe if you don't mind. Uh, one thing I do mind is being a little sober over here. So let's fix that problem. Yeah. Let's get on to some beer. All right. Grab your libations, pals. It's time for Beer of the Week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend. And I'll say, I think I'll have myself a beer. That's right. We're having ourselves a beer that uh, many in this area look forward to every year. Hell yeah. <laughs> we are drinking Integrin Brewing's 2019 release of Oktoberfest. Oh. 5.5%, 23 IBUs, has a 3.81 on untapped, no score on Beer Advocate. From the website, says Integrin Oktoberfest is a traditional Bavarian Marzen style lager brewed with imported German Munich, Vienna, and Pilsner malts. These malts give our Oktoberfest a beautiful orange color and a full bodied multi sweet flavor with hints of honey, nuts, and caramel. Prost! Yeah. It seemed like the appropriate beer to have after uh, Germany was showing up on the listening charts. I agree. Plus, it's Oktoberfest time, people. It is. It's uh, mid-September. It's perfect time for Oktoberfest beers and Oktoberfest celebrations and jamming some sausages in our mouths. Whoa. <laughs> you know, like bratwurst. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oops. Yeah. What do you guys think of this year's Oktoberfest? It. My God. Delicious. I know you hate Ennegrin so much. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know. A little sweet on the nose, not a whole lot of nose to it, but lots of uh, the appropriate caramel malt flavor when you sip on that. It says 23 IBUs. They kept it low on purpose. Not a lot of hop in there, just a little balance. Uh, this is definitely an easy drinker. It would pair nicely with sausage. Yeah. It's uh, disappearing quickly. Mm-hmm. It tends to happen a lot over there. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, a little bit of hop on the back end, just a smidge, helps clean things up. So um, Perfect. Yeah, this is one of the better examples of an Oktoberfest style beer. Yeah, nice. So uh, Yeah. Like that caramel right at the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Keeping things sweet. Indeed. So yeah, so great job to Ennegrin. And uh, speaking of what they will we will have their beers. Well, then I'll go. Wedding. Yeah. Oh my god. I, I changed my mind. Multiple. So uh, can't don't wait. don't tell anybody else where the wedding is. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? A lot of good beer. Woo. Uh, so thank you, Integrin, for the tasty uh, Oktoberfest. We, ooh, that was a quick fade. Wow. We got a lot to get to. <laughs> of course, we have some crotch talk, some sports news, uh, old time wear of the week, beer babe. Got a great bullpen beer that I've been looking forward to, and lots of booze news. But for now, let's crack right into some crotch talk. Have a grievance to share? It's time for a crotch talk. Uh, no grievances on my end as of yet. Big happy birthday to a friend of the show, Brian, lawyer Brian, who's been oh, on a few times. Yeah. We celebrated at his house a couple of, well, a weekend ago. 
And uh, whenever you're over there, he always cracks open the good stuff. So we had some stuff from the brewery and a couple special oh, nice. releases from Casa Agria. And Brian, the lawyer guy? Brian, the lawyer guy. Hopefully he wasn't sans clothes when <laughs> no. he had the party. That's what I was going to say. Thank God he was full full oh. clothes. Oh, nice. Yeah, he was sans sans clothes. <laughs> Did he spill any beers? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He did spill when he was oh, here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think he did. Oh, How rude. Man. Luckily, I was pretty well hydrated, so if he did, I don't remember oh, spilling. Man. He spills here, but not at his house? I That's know. Rude. I should have just taken one and dumped it. <laughs> yeah, you should have. Paid him back. <laughs> Payback's a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> as tears were rolling down your face. <laughs> <laughs> your carpet is sans clean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this hurts me more than it hurts you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah he's listening right now like oh those sons of bitches are never gonna <laughs> let me let, live that one down there's gonna be one time when like he invites us over we're just gonna walk into his house he's gonna be sitting there naked like, here you go sans clothes with you. he's gonna get his back that way oh my mm-hmm. god i can almost see it oh god get that out of your mind quickly uh so happy birthday to brian also had a chance to do a little research down in ventura california hit up a few breweries hit up rincon for the first time oh shit Great spot. Is it really? Really good spot. It's just really got a nice, like, beachy, even though it's not right on the beach. It's got Correct. a nice, like, beach, beachy vibe to it. Um, I really like a couple of the beers that they're canning. I've had them before going in there. It's an IPA. I can't remember the names. It's an IPA and, like, a blonde, I think. Uh, I had some there that I hadn't had before. It was a little hit or miss for me, but overall, a, a pretty good experience. Mm-hmm. And then went to Topa Topa, which you can never go wrong at oh, Topa yeah. Topa. Cumulation Hazy. Oh, my God. So good. Oh, man. Have you had this one? I haven't. Scott, have you had the cumulation? I'm no, sure we've all, well, in fact, we had it on the show, we all had Chief Peak, but uh, correct. if you see cumulation anywhere, I don't know how available it is outside the brewery. Right. Because uh, I know they have like a couple of uh, different styles that are really at the brewery. Yeah. And pretty much that's it. I wouldn't be surprised if you see it at your hipster barn. But, Could be. Uh, Could be. So look for it. Really, really good. Ended things off with another trip to Seaward Brewing. And I, <laughs> for those of you that are like my lady friend, I'll explain that C-word is S-E-A-W-A-R-D. <laughs> the first time I said to her, hey, you want to go to C-word? <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> they named a brewery C-word? Brewery? <laughs> As in like, see you next Tuesday. And uh, I had to explain to her because she's not from the area. Like, Seaward is a street in Ventura, and then they named the brewery after it. It's not uh, like they're calling someone the Seaward. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, ended off at Seaward Brewing. <laughs> had a uh, <laughs> ebb and flow, or no, ebbing waves or ebb- ebbing seas. That's what it was. God forbid I write this down. Ebbing seas, it's a hazy pale. Look, I'm not one of those like haze boys that goes and seeks them out, but I've had a lot of good ones lately, and this ebbing seas was really good we tried to get a keg of it for the wedding they're like yeah we don't sell kegs so that's too bad i was like i just want to throw money at you that's all i just just want to throw some money and i want you to give me a lot of beer they were like sorry we don't do that i was like well you just lost Darn a lot it. of money so maybe i am busy that day i like that right haze boys yeah <laughs> it's gonna be in the name of my band the haze boys <laughs> yeah big d and the hazy boys <laughs> what, what kind of band will it be <laughs> yeah i guess i don't know i haven't thought that part like out boy <laughs> band rock oh band. no yeah yeah rock there you okay go. all right you're gonna be like the next uh nwa oh man yeah that's true straight out colonia <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> that'd be good yeah mm-hmm. i got nothing that. to add to that yeah i, I think i'm just our, dreaming now <laughs> yeah i got jerry curl and uh <laughs> and a raider hat on yeah <laughs> fit right in uh that's it for me anybody any uh any beer experiences or any uh grievances to share just me as a grievance i suppose mm. um i just you been, yourself is the grievance yeah yes. yeah i am a grievance yeah. right now please share i'm a living grievance uh, <laughs> i've just been after your neighbors say i've been <laughs> My goal, like, I don't know, like, I, you know, there's a wedding. It's just something mm-hmm. to get excited about, motivated to, like, get in shape, I suppose. Yeah. I was doing great for a while. Okay. And then, uh, I don't know, I've just lately have been eating like shit. Um, I worked out, I think, twice in two weeks, mm-hmm. which is awful. Yep. Um, so I'm just falling apart. Yeah. And it's funny because I can't stop. I can't. I, it was, I, I went to Wendy's one, one, one day out of the week. Oh, you got those was, spicy chicken nuggets. Oh, you know I had to get those <laughs> spicy nuggets, man. How so, do you not? I know. So I was like, oh, well, I'm not going to go back there. I'm not going to go back there. And then two days later, I'm like, oh, I'm back, you know. Yeah. And yeah. then. Uh, you roll up. Oh, it's heavy D. <laughs> yeah. Or big D. Oh, yeah. It's big D. Have an and the hazy yeah. boys. Yeah. I'm going to be heavy D pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, so, you know, I but then I got this kind of bright idea where I was like, you know what? I'm going to go eat eat in Wendy's. I'm going to go to Wendy's and go. actually oh, eat that's in the answer. The, exactly. Class so it up. Yeah. I went there and uh-huh. I was like, okay, like, because you know what? What happened is I went in there. I was eating my food. I was just kind of looking around me. I was like, God, I'm going to end up like these people around <laughs> yeah. me right now. Like, this is my future if I keep eating at Wendy's every week and getting these damn nuggets. So... I was like, I got to knock it off. So hopefully that's going to set me straight. I, I feel you. It's been so goddamn hot that, of course, like the last couple of weeks leading up to my wedding or the last couple of weeks, I haven't been able to go out and like go jogging and stuff because mm-hmm. it's just been 900 degrees and my balls have been crying for help. <laughs> just we're so dehydrated. We can't sweat anymore. <laughs> oh. You're welcome for the image, everybody. You got it. Uh, yeah. I, and so now finally, like the last few days has been cooling down. It's like, all right, I get some workouts in. I've been doing like sit ups and, and push ups at home. Well, like, look I, don't, at you. I don't do that shit. Wow. Nice. Good job. I will. Nice. I will give you as a little motivation. You will be sitting at a table with one of the only two single females at the entire world. Right. Oh, fuck. Now you tell me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. We've done the seating charts. Now Wait, I gotta, not me. I gotta no, do, sorry. I gotta oh, do curls in the sauna yeah. now. I, I, we we can confirm that with the lady friend after the show, but I'm pretty sure you're with one of the only two single females oh, wow. at the wedding. Okay. So does Wendy still have their salad bar? Ah, oh, shit. They do, but you know what? They do? Yeah. And, I, oh, so that's the secret. I go yeah. in and eat all kinds of shit, but I get the salad bar. So I, oh, I had, hey, I had salad. Oh, so you know what? They don't have a salad bar. Per oh, se. Yeah, I, I think they got rid of that they in like used, the 80s. Oh, well, yeah. that's the last time I was at Wendy's. Yeah. But they do have yeah. salad, and I hear it's really good. Okay. I just never get it. That's like okay. uh, back when I worked at McDonald's in my teenage years. We, the people would come in and order the double quarter pounder meal supersize, mm-hmm. <laughs> and we'd always laugh because then they'd get the Diet Coke with it. <laughs> <laughs> it was like... Look here, fat boy. Yeah, exactly. You think that di- the Diet Coke is saving your fat ass? Nope. No, you're it doomed. is not. Yeah, you're do- just get that chocolate shake and call it a day. Let's do it. That's what I do. I get the Frosty. Why not? <laughs> How do you not get a Frosty? <laughs> oh, man. So, yep. Good times. That's all uh, leading up. So get your get your swell on. I'll try. Because uh, I'll, I'll let you know which one is, is the one to be <laughs> okay. chasing after. Uh, all right. We got some sports news to get to before we move on to our bullpen beer. So let's talk a little sports. And now, the sports, brought to you by cleaninguptheglass.com. Whether it's the Baltimore chop or the one-two punch, it's time for sports. Yes, it is. First of all, I want to start off by mentioning that weeks ago we tweeted and messaged the, the idiots over at the Booze League. Oh, yeah. To say, hey, football season is upon us. What's up with the annual fantasy football we've been doing for... I think we did three years so far, three Correct. years straight. Uh, no response. Tweeted them right before the first game of week one. Said, hey, there's still a little bit of time. We can auto-draft or something. <laughs> still no response. So in my mind, we won, everybody. We won again. And we won so. again. Once again, oh, we are the winners. We have beat the Booze League. It's uh, Yes. Here we go. And we didn't even need the help of Dan's beard. This time we did not. Yeah, no. this time we did not. Yeah. Sans beard. S- sans beard. Yeah. That's been happening. Yeah. yeah so, uh, In their defense, I heard they were on their honeymoon. So, The booze league was? Yes. Who'd they marry? Each other. Just the three of them? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow. They must be from Utah. <laughs> you never know. That's the rumor I'm hearing. Yeah. So I don't know. So the big news in sports today is that we have officially beat the booze league at fantasy football. Yay. Yay. It's been called. Um, speaking of idiots, LeBron had his Taco Tuesday <laughs> trademark request denied. Duh. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. We talked about this a couple weeks ago. I actually got a little uh, update from Brian, who, as we mentioned, is a lawyer. Oh, he, good. He said LeBron, LeBron tried to use, or excuse me, tried to trademark it to get the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office to make a ruling that no one could then trademark Taco Tuesday. Excuse me, Tuesday, and therefore immunize himself from suit for using it in his social media posts. Um, and he, he knew he had no shot at it. And I said, so he's not as dumb as he looks. And he said, nope, actually, it's a really shrewd move. His lawyer is very smart or his PR team. Yeah. So basically, by doing this, it sets precedence that nobody can trademark Taco Tuesday, and then he'll never have a problem with the social media posts. Oh, wow. If that makes well, sense. It, I, I kind of learned something, I think, because I think what they said was it was like a common you know, a common thing that, you know, Taco Tuesday. So I'm guessing that people, you know, you, you, if you say, hey, I'm going to you know, trademark good morning, you can't do that right. because it's like a common thing. So Happy birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so apparently the they're like, no, they, you know, everybody says that, so you can't trademark it. Right. Good. 
Yeah, it's uh, it's one of those things like you know Kleenex. Everybody uses Kleenex instead yeah, of tissue, right? And it will get to the point where you can no longer hold the trademark on Kleenex brand. Right. So uh, I'm gonna go buy a Coke. Well, not necessarily a Coke. You're yeah. gonna buy a soda, a cola. which is yeah, yeah. exactly. Same thing with, right. Same thing with rollerblade. Like rollerblade became the the yeah, sport instead yeah. of just inline skating. And oh then, shit! Yeah. So I didn't even know that one. Yeah. Exactly. So it, it, those are the kind of things weird. to look yeah. out for. If everybody, if it becomes like good to know common nomenclature that you can't hold a trademark on it. Interesting. So, yeah, it gets interesting. But I guess he did that just to make sure that in the future he could not get sued, you know, so nobody else could pull a trademark on it. So actually kind of smart, which I, it pains me to say. <laughs> just so he could keep making those dumbass videos. Right. Oh, boy. He's like, you know what? I think they just wanted to say, hey, we'll sue you just so he could stop making them. <laughs> and then like, nope, now you can't. Yeah, I wish somebody would. Damn it. So he'd stop making them. That's right. Uh, on to football, Roethlisberger, Big Ben out Probably for the season to have mm. elbow surgery. Yeah, he's yeah. done. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, ladies. His dick will still be hanging out. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Whether you want it or not. Yeah. Plenty of time to be at the bar whipping his yeah. junk out. Yeah. Great. And Drew Brees. He'll be heard raping it. in no time. Oh, God. Him and Antonio Brown. What's <laughs> wrong <laughs> with those Steelers players, man? <laughs> oh, God. And Drew Brees hurts his throwing hand against the Rams, like mm. jammed his thumb. Yeah. He's uh, in LA checking it out with a specialist. Unknown what his status is. It's crazy. Mm hmm. I heard he's going to have to have surgery. Also? Yes, yeah, he's yeah. going to miss uh, six weeks. Is it confirmed? Yeah, oh, okay. six to eight, yeah. I couldn't find a solid confirmation, but... Uh, mm-hmm. uh, well, you got it here. I got it. <laughs> that's right. Scott says so. You know it's true. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, so, uh, what are we talking about? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So bring on Teddy Bridgewater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. He is awful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh he did really God. good, but yeah. He, yeah. He came out and he started out okay. Yeah, but... And it was like, oh, it's Teddy Bridgewater. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And, the, you know, it's like their best player is like Alvin Kamara, and he <laughs> didn't like even use use him for whatever right. reason it was like come on dude got some like, beef with him or something let's go yeah so uh suck saints sucks yeah. for you was, boy am i glad i almost drafted breeze too oh really boy am i glad Ooh, I, I know i was watching the team that actually did i'm like man that's like their best player maybe i should trade for him or something i was like nope <laughs> nope yeah they're not though i didn't do a whole lot better i got uh aaron Rodgers, and he hasn't been doing a whole lot for me yet. Oh, i know i'm waiting for him to warm up a little bit yeah. uh that's pretty much it for sports I don't think there's been any new articles that clean up the glass that I've missed. There either. have not. Okay. I just wanted to kind of throw in there about the FIBA World Cup that I was watching. Oh, uh-huh. United States lost. Yeah. They didn't Wait, even what? medal, dude. Yeah, we suck. Yeah, they I think they were playing you, for... You called that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They were Weeks play, ago. They were playing yeah. for seventh place or something like that. Ooh. Yeah. They are playing for like the bottom of the loser's bracket? <laughs> yeah. At that point, <laughs> it's like, why even suit up? Just yeah. quit. Yeah. And like you said, they're so young. I bet at this point, they'll all be getting uh, participation trophies. Yeah. And they'll be expecting them. That's yeah. right. Huh? <laughs> Where's my medal? Yeah. <laughs> we don't make copper medals. <laughs> yeah, right. What, 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 what medal would that be? Yeah. I don't know. Solder? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you would you would make at that point. Oh man. It's just made out of like melted PVC pipe or something. Is that silver that like stains your like skin or whatever <laughs> green? Yeah, it turns your hands green and you wear a ring. Yeah, that's pretty much what it's gonna be. That's what they want. So they, they just hand everybody quarters. <laughs> yeah. Here's your medal. Here you go. Yeah. Dang. Oh god. But uh what and, and you know, ESPN really screwed me too i tried to watch um because i don't have cable so i tried to uh, uh watch it on espn plus right which I actually paid for briefly oh because it said oh watch all of the world cup i go great you know and i have been watching a lot of the games but then once it got to the metal games it's like oh this is on espn too you can't watch this i'm like you dick bags like <laughs> i've been sticking around and like for this whole tournament probably the only person watching it yeah. you're not gonna let me watch the the finals definitely the only person in america watching it yeah i'm pretty sure of that yeah so yeah they screwed me over so another fuck you to espn fuck you espn sir food savage our, our friend and listener up in canada was was making fun of team usa to oh. us on instagram <laughs> oh was he really canada yeah. canada canada's making fun yeah. of us. yeah that's true what the hell's he got to say right so. <laughs> Well, at least they have our championship, I guess. Yeah, they gave him a tin can. Yeah. Their, their country. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they got a tin can. At least we got some sort of medal, <laughs> right? Mm. So, uh, so there's there you go. Uh, Old timey word of the week: to mop up, to mop up, which is to empty a glass. So we've been mopping up a lot of oh, beers. Oh man, over I'm here. good at that. Yeah. yeah, we're we're quite the janitors. Yes. We are cleaning up that glass. Mopping yeah, up all the time. <laughs> I like that. Uh, yeah, we we've, we've mopped up many a beer over here in the studio. So. Mm. Uh, also, someone else that likes to mop up a couple of beers. No one could blame you for bed swerving. It's time for Beer Babe of the Week. 
It is, and her name is Jessica. You can find her on the grams at Jess Brewess. B R E W E S S, Jess Brewess, all one word, no spaces, dots, dashes. Scott has a chance at finding her. Nice. Uh, in this one, she's drinking a beer at St. Elmo Brewing Company. I wonder if there's a fire. <laughs> St. Elmo's fire, anybody? <laughs> really bad joke. Uh, so make sure you're following her on the grams at Jess Brewess. I think you'll be glad you did. All right. We are going to get into a new story and then follow that up with a call to the pen. Extra, extra, drink all about it. It's time for booze news. It is time for booze news. We've been talking about the lawsuit between Budweiser and Miller Coors about the whole uh, corn syrup situation. A federal judge grants Miller Coors preliminary injunction blocking Bud Light's no cur- corn syrup packaging. Uh, Anheuser-Busch and AB InBev has until March 2nd, 2020 to sell through Bud Light packaging that contains language and an icon indicating that the top selling beer in the U.S. contains no corn syrup. That's the short of it. So uh, while a final ruling hasn't been made, the preliminary preliminary ruling, easy for you to say, is that uh, <laughs> they've got to drop that uh, th- all the packaging by March 2020. I guess Miller Coors is uh, in the lead. Yeah. So uh, fuck you, Bud Light. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that's what I take from it. <laughs> uh, also, speaking of Bud Light's woes, uh, a judge denies AB's motion to dismiss the Patagonia trademark lawsuit. We talked about this probably a couple months ago. Trademark or uh, Patagonia is you know the the outdoor brand is suing Budweiser because Budweiser has a brewery, quote unquote brewery brand that is called patagonia their logos and font are similar and they were even doing giveaways with the beer of patagonia clothing (laughs) and they're like uh we do not want to be associated with this right (laughs) you are trash (laughs) so uh fuck you budweiser yeah but they dismissed it oh they they uh denied the motion to dismiss right denied the motion to dismiss so the lawsuit will continue good yeah uh yeah it's it's way too if you i should find the logo for you guys and post on the interwebs because it's way too similar like the font is pretty similar and they have like outdoorsy scenes on the bottles behind it and Mm -hmm. it's like no shit of course this isn't gonna fly come on yeah so and then finally and fuck you to ab uh india has rejected ab's request to lift the three-year new delhi ban if you remember we talked about they were banned from selling a new delhi for three years right over tax evasion and uh, a judge has, or India has said, no, we are not going to let you get away with that. <laughs> so, uh, House and Miguel, the company that owned part of Founders and recently bought almost all the rest of it, the price has just been revealed. They paid $198.8 million for their additional 59%. So they now own 89% of Founders Brewing. And that additional 59% was 198. So basically almost $200 million. Wow. That's so, San Miguel. Uh, Mahau San Miguel, not the same company as like San Mig and San Mig Light that you oh, get from the Philippines. That's right. Which was very confusing. I thought it was. Yeah, and then that's I read what I that saw. it wasn't. So did I. Yeah. Um, so unless somebody, feel free to correct me, I read that it's not the same company, but it's very confusing. And there's not a, not a lot about it on the webs. I'm sure somebody in Twitter land will tell me I'm an idiot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, diff- as far as I know, different companies, but uh, I'm willing to be corrected. Do we know, like, I mean, if they can buy some of Founders, I mean, how big are they? I mean, shouldn't we know? They're huge. They're invested in all kinds of alcohol really? brands and, and non-alcohol brands. How do we not know who they are then? Uh, I, gu- I guess Founders isn't saying like, hey, our daddy is Ma- <laughs> San Miguel, <laughs> so uh, you should buy their beers too. Oh. They're out of Spain. So they're oh, not an American okay. company. I guess that makes it a little harder Yeah, it does to make it even them. more confusing, I yeah. think. So uh, it's it's a big trail of Interesting. lies Trip. and deception, I guess. It really is. Uh, before we move on, shall we make a call? Is everybody uh, oh, yeah. ready? All Please. right. Yeah, my arm's tired. <laughs> Let's bring in the closer. Uh-oh. He calls to the bullpen for beer. Let's just hope it's not a Dodgers closer. Oh, God. <laughs> it was taking a trip down a very different path after that Oktoberfest. We are drinking yeah. Modern Times Spaceways Hazy IPA. 
6.7% 40 IBUs, has a 92 on Beer Advocate and a 3.98 on Untapped. From Modern Times, they say prepare your faces for, for a- some spaces. <laughs> <laughs> for some spaces. Prepare your faces for a 6.7% hazy IPA packed to the brim with mountains of Nelson, Motika, and Simcoe hops, yielding a gloriously glorious juicy <laughs> profile replete with mango, nectarine, and lime zest character. We think you're really going to dig it. Do you guys dig it? I can dig it. <laughs> can you dig it? <laughs> We can do it. Mm. Yeah, it's good stuff. I'm so excited for this. This will, is, if everything goes to plan, I've spoken with the uh, person that needs to provide this. This will be at the wedding. Holy God. <laughs> oh, maybe I can make it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, it won't be. Oh, uh, darn we're going to have Bud Light, yeah, maybe, yeah. Coors oh, Bud Light. Yeah. Holy yeah. matrimony. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mm. excited. I <laughs> Wait, there's a wedding? Nope. I am excited. <laughs> I am. Yeah, you are now. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I get a little bit of tropical on the nose. Not a huge aroma, but definitely a lot of tropical, Hell yeah. juicy yeah. goodness. Oh, yeah. This is juicy AF. God, it is interesting, dude, that it, it can be such a clash what we were drinking earlier mm-hmm. and still be so yummy still, man. I mean, that's a tough mm-hmm. act to follow. Yeah, I it's- wouldn't want to go in the opposite order. Right. Like, I wouldn't want to go this, then October That's Fest. True. It might ruin things a little bit. But, uh, yeah. yes, very yummy. Both very yummy. Mm. Look at all these hops. <laughs> lots of them. Lots of them. Especially lots of Nelson. Uh, yeah, this is great. I just found this, um, let's say, three weeks ago. I was over at uh, well, your friend's place, the lab. Or not the lab. Excuse me, Twisted Oak. Used to be the lab. Oh, yeah. Hanging out with your homie Roger over there. Yeah. And they had this on tap. And I was like, oh, I'll try that new Spaceways. And good God, I was like, I got to get, I got to find this and immediately found it at the local Trader Joe's and was very excited that I did. <laughs> so good. This and Critical Band have been my big summer IPAs, my big summer hazies. So uh, one of the hazy boys over here. Hazy boys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> Roger? Yeah. The the alien from uh, American Dead. Oh, Roger. Roger. Yeah. Yeah. Took me a minute. Okay. Ne- <laughs> never mind. Cut that out. Great jokes, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ballast Point. More bad news for big beer. Ballast oh, Point. No. Yeah, what a shame, right? Shutting down their Daleville tap Ooh. room in a restaurant. Oh, wow. Uh, Daleville, Virginia. After slightly more than two years, Ballast Point is closing its tap room and restaurant in Botart, Botart, Botart County. Nailed it. Wow. Let's just say Daleville. Uh, 25 hospitality employees, both full time and part time, will be affected by the closure as well as 16 temp employees. Um, some of those affected will be offered jobs in production, according to other people. Anyways, the long and short of it is they're keeping the production site open, but they're closing the tap room and restaurant. Wow. So must be uh, not so good as far yeah. as people coming in. And I would imagine there's probably some better beer options to go. At this point, I think their best bet is to have that brand power on the shelf because people know it. People buy what's familiar to them. That's true. Even though they're way overpriced. <laughs> <laughs> they they got bit at, bought out for you know shit ton of money. They went huge scale production and they never lowered their prices. It's still like fourteen dollars uh, for a six pack of Sculpin. I oh, know wow. it is. Yeah, that's so, true. It's if I didn't want to drink it already. Now I'm really not going to drink it. Right. If I if I'm on a budget, I'm not going to go. You know, I'll go uh, another bought out. Like you can get like Space Dust, which is bought out. But if you're on a budget, you can get it for like ten bucks a six pack or whatever. Right. Uh, I'm not going to go for a Sculpin, which hasn't come down. In fact, it's only gone up in price since the buyout. So a uh, bunch of idiots over there. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Michael Jordan launching his own tequila brand. Oh, damn. Wow. Yes. And he's not alone. Uh, he's partnered up with a bunch of super wealthy NBA owners to launch his liquor brand. MJ with NBA owners Genie Bus, Wes Eddins of the Bucks. How do you say that? Weiss? Grouseback? Yes, exactly. Okay. Is it Weiss? W-Y-C? You know, yeah, you know it. Are you just making that Did up? Did you say no, W-Y-C? Yeah, Celtics owner. What? Wick? Weiss? I would think Wick, but I, who knows? We still want to get some yeah. food stamps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever. He's a Celtics owner. And his wife, Emily Fatalati. Oh, yeah. Her. Yeah. Just dropped Sincoro, a new premium tequila. Uh, it's, it's nice and affordable, too. The oh, fucking weird. The Anejo... Cost one hundred and thirty dollars a bottle. Oh yeah, the extra anejo, which is aged for around three and a half years, cost sixteen hundred. 
Oh. <laughs> the low, low price. Jesus oh. Christ. And I thought the shots that Big Dick Nick bought for us <laughs> at 100 bucks for four shots was bad. This Damn. is uh, really climbing up a tree here. you know all this is is they're just trying to make the money back from the players because those are the only people that are going to be able to afford that fucking tequila pretty much you know what i mean it's they're like, gonna here's like, your money yeah. now go buy tequila but only buy ours yeah, that's right make sure you post it on instagram the, yeah because so. you know yeah they're the only ones running around with money now i mean it's like you know there's some rappers i suppose but they used to be the ones that were all running around willy-nilly with their money spending it on moe and <laughs> Alizé. chinchilla fucking jackets and shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah not anymore big timers big timers now it's just the players that's right well uh, i'm sure there'll be some great commercials coming out with mj and his hitler stash and you know <laughs> drink my tequila <laughs> can you imagine his, his bacon neck yeah, his bacon neck tequila yeah <laughs> that's what we were crying face tequila <laughs> How great would that be? <laughs> he hates it so much. They should make a meme of him crying and the tears are going into the bottle. <laughs> oh, God. Well, it could be him paying for it. Yeah. <laughs> Their tagline could be like, guaranteed to give you the flu. <laughs> Especially if you're in Utah. That's right. Yeah. yeah the flu my ass. He was hung over. <laughs> yep. Which makes it more impressive, if you ask me. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. 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 Hung over? Good Lord. Look what yeah. he did. But uh, I think this will give you the same effects. That's right. As whatever he had in Utah. So <laughs> uh, that's it for us. That's it for the news. That's it for uh, Michael Jordan and his crying face. Sorry, MJ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's wrap things up. Thank you all for listening. Thanks for joining along. Thanks for drinking along. Don't forget to find us on the social medias at the Unfiltered Gentleman, at Unfiltered Gents, and of course, Commissioner Dan at Cleanup Glass on Twitter. Yeah. Find us at the Unfiltered Gentleman.com. You can leave us a. a drunk dial a drunk voicemail 805-538 beer 2337 uh we're a lot nicer than calling your ex-girlfriend or something so so call us instead and uh i think that's everything don't forget to rate and subscribe and leave us nice little ratings on itunes and all that good stuff and uh we'll appreciate it maybe we'll send you some stickers in the meantime i hope everyone is staying well hydrated and on that note good night everybody good night